I don't know if you felt the seismic change or seismic. How do you say it? Seismic? Seismic. 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 I felt the seismic change when a certain individual rolled in here, tilting the earth. <laughs> And you'll know that when I do my introductions, I usually um, wax uh, poetic and complimentary to the point of flooding. Well, I wrote something special for her. <laughs> so you can just relax, take a sit back, and everybody else will be, will, will be uh, trying to catch up with the sonic boom here. There's a little piece called Avacha, What Does One Say? <laughs> What does one say about a force of nature, a heart as big as hyperbole may allow, a synonym for love and respect, or one who has worked the long, hard rows from can't see to can't see? How does one describe her as a human being, a soul dedicated to expressing the eternal, a keeper of the flame, a harbor of wisdom, or someone who meets out justice via the word? What wishes brought her into this world at this time, to this place, where in this very intimate now we are fortunate enough to be? What can you say of a witness whose heart will testify before the muse, the all-encompassing universe, God, however one names it, here before us and so before all mankind and on the record? How to introduce someone whose deep sense of humor and yearning for justice has her rail on offenders by name, chastising them in a manner fit to entertain the gods? who has the music of the voice, the voice of music, who will hold forth here tonight with but one intent, unifying all her efforts, one idea, one plan, one vision, speaking her truth so simply as to get it across one more time. Now, we, she and I, are relatives. You may not know that. Relatively speaking, and while I don't speak relative, I must make do with make do with what my mom used to call the king's English. Use the king's English, Danny. I find I've gone, but here at this point, I just gotta say, I have to mention my mom in there one more time. I find I've gone far too long, as you might say, will you ever just stop? And I must leave off this praiseworthy effort at praise. Why should we wait another moment before hearing a voice whose echoes strain the infinite, breach the eternal, and does so lovingly all within the precious body of our own hearts. Abacha, you're on. Come on up. Give her a round. Come on, let's go. The Combs have been good enough for applause, but you got her on top of that. Right, right, right. I mean, I'm, I'm almost ready to cry. That was that was too much. And, you know, what can I say? Uh, I love him uh, madly. And several people in this room, I do a poetry series. In fact, I'll get somebody to pass these out. It's known as the oldest, longest bilingual series in the East Bay, except that it should really be called a multilingual series. We've had over 20 different languages, and there's always going to be at least one bilingual person on the bill because it's time to cut the crap and stop this BS that we have and start listening to each other. We've had everything as diverse as uh, Hebrew, Arabic, Farsi, Gaelic, Chinese, three different Chinese languages, several different Native American languages, several African languages, and we're still working on it. So please visit us if you can and have fun with us. And also, you might learn something about some folks that you don't know about, because some great folks come through. OK, enough of that. Um, this first one is called I Cry Creativity. And um, I was asleep, secure and comfortably asleep, dreaming of peace and love, hypnotized by a mirage of unity and togetherness, dancing away demons of war and hate in what I thought was the land of the plenty, and what I've been told was the land of the free. No. Then I opened my eyes was slapped in the face by a wide awake nightmare, a senseless suicidal madness, a world of selfishness, an insatiable gluttony and rampant homelessness, created by short-sighted uh -huh. masters of fantasy so used to dealing from their own deck of unfulfillable promises that they could no longer feel anything real. All right. 
and found myself sadly looking at those who were empty inside and seemed to think they could fill their emptiness yes, with all kinds of pretty things and tons of money and more yes. and more and more and more of the newest and prettiest things and all I could do was cry. Cry for those blindly drunk on greed as I write and smile as another poem is born, a poem about all the beauty the greed can no longer see. I believe if we artists could only bottle our tears, no one would ever die of thirst. World, one note at a time. Yeah. Um, oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Uh, Johanna, who was the, the one that held us together for many years before we used this rain stick, which I don't see how I'm going to do with this. I'm going to do it, but thanks for the offer. This is called Listen to the Rain, oh, and yeah. it's about the rainforest in Puerto Rico. There was a rainforest, a small rainforest in Puerto Rico called El Junque. Maria completely knocked it down and turned it into splinters. When I saw that, I almost had a nervous breakdown, but we'll get back to that in a minute. But So this is about El Junque, and rainforest in general, because folks yeah. need to wake up and smell the coffee. I mean, I folks, I'm running my mouth and we're going to run our mouth. Uh, Every minute we do it, some sucker is to knock down yeah. another 100 acres of rainforest somewhere in the world, which is no big thing unless you need to breathe. Yeah. Because uh, those rainforests globally are producing 70% of the oxygen that we need, 90% of the medicines that we need, and all kinds of other goodies. So anything you can do to yeah. stop it, please do. It's called Listen to the yeah. Rain. <clears throat> As you can... Jardín de Esperanza, donde vive el alma bonito, el alma right. de la perla del Caribe. El señor gringo, he always listens but never stops, never hears the music of her junque. Too busy, always rushing, running, taking, breaking, always taking, but never taking time enough to listen to the rain, to hear her sacred song, to feel the magic, the magic. Tourist trap more than just one more romantic locale with more great potential for the cultural expansion of McDonald's bulletproof hamburgers. Have you ever stopped and listened to the rain, the magic? El yunque sagrado, oración de la lluvia, corazón de la tierra, pesadilla de los yanquis. Listen, listen, Boricua, listen to the rain. El yunque is a fertility dance. It's Boricua's poem of power. Don Pedro, Don Lolita, Don Juan Antonio tried to make you hear, tried to make you feel strong enough to live for a tree and maybe even die to be free. Did you hear them? The magic, I am yunque. Sombra del nele se escondido renacimiento del sueño borincano. Listen, Borincua. Listen, listen to the rain that'll whisper in your ears, that'll shower you with pride, that'll overwhelm you with her beauty, that her lead you to the magic. El Junque is nature's declaration of independence, that the rhythm of the rain burn like fire in your blood. Have you ever really listened to the rain? Listen, listen, Borincua. Listen, listen to the rain. Ay, el sonido musical de la lluvia ni por qué. Have you ever stopped and listened to the rain? Listen, listen, Monica, listen, listen to the rain, listen. Thank you. That needless that was written when rain was a uh, good thing. But you see what's happening now, in fact, somebody told me, well, don't worry about it because it will grow back. Yeah, it will. You know how many millions of years it takes to grow a rainforest. But anyway, when I saw, when I, people started getting the pictures of what actually happened and the Junque being reduced to splinters, I almost had a nervous breakdown. And fortunately, my friend George called and snapped me out of it. Uh, and all I could do was write this when I saw those pictures. So this is called A Simple Freedom or Was It Just a Dream? Because these things that are happening, by the way, you see, hurricanes are natural. Most of you don't know that. They're natural. There's no big thing. When we go there, and my father would bring us in, you know, we go in the summertime, hang out in the Caribbean. It'd be a hurricane. Oh, that's a good time. We have a party. Yeah. No, 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 no. What's happening now is not natural. They just had a tornado, a tornado in Cuba. Uh-uh. That's not natural. When it's supposed to be cold in New York and hot here, it was hot in New York, it was cold here. That's not natural. A simple freedom or was it just a dream? Once upon a time when the world was green, when this earth was heaven, the trees used to sing to us and we sang their praises. 
dance in honor of their beauty and reveled in the millions of gifts that they gave us. Life was a simple but complicated symphony when lovesick leaves sang in romance, hungry wind spirits. And clouds pregnant with the promise of tomorrow kept us drunk on the sweet wine of her rains, then came the invasion. Wood eating devils that made termites look like angels, the lakes, the streams, the green, all gone. Forest of dreams destroyed the simple beauty of millions of yesterdays eaten by greed and lifelessly regurgitated into the ravaged soil as echoes of green dance and cry in the shadows of what once was. Tree spirits hidden behind ancestral tombstones that see this offspring roam thirsty deserts beside invisible uprooted generations trying to remember days when nature reigned and all her green gave the world oxygen to breathe and got the world drunk on the fruit of their love. Days when trees romanced the clouds and rain was the wine of heaven, now they go silently scream wide awake nightmares, restless spirits hidden in the sands of a long ago time, a time before they came. Like an atone swarm of hungry locusts, suicidal wood-eating demons that looked like angels but took joy in the devastation of uprooted generations in the destruction of sacred medicinal flowers that once perfumed the air and now the lakes, the streams, the green, all gone. In their place grow tearful memories, crying echoes dancing in the weeds with hurricanes and earthquakes, shadows of days when this earth was heaven, when happiness was being able to safely lie in the grass and just breathe and be serenaded by a chorus of singing frogs and birds. It was a simple, priceless freedom. Or was it just a dream? Once upon a time when the world was green. Oh. Yeah. I feel they're not tired with me. Um, on Sunday, there's a CD release party. I work with my band, but this is another band I work with, the Electric Squeeze Box Orchestra, which is a 17-piece big band, a jazz big band, awesome. And we've got a CD coming out, not just with me as a guest in there, and, I've got three pieces, including the one I'm going to do. Uh, also, Madeline Eastman, Kenny Washington, Khalil um, Wilson. Who am I forgetting? I'm forgetting somebody. Oh, Sandy Cressman. But it's going to happen at the California Jazz Conservatory, 5 o'clock. And if you want to get to that, you better buy tickets because it's going to sell out. <laughs> so this is called Soundly Metaphysical. The stereotype, all of us artists are supposed to be a bunch of lazy dopeins and drunks. And because I wanted to be a good artist, I became both. Uh, but I've been clean now 48 years, and uh, uh, so I get high on music and poetry and all that kind of stuff. And one day we had a gig, and this guy comes up to me after the gig because he just I mean, he really liked our music and stuff. He said he really loved it. And he knows what, that with what we were doing and singing up on that stage, I must know where some good dope is. I don't I don't believe in violence, so I wrote a poem in this called "Soundly Metaphysical." <coughs> My music is an orgasmic synonym for that for all that is real and organic vibrational healing, a sanctified tone poem I did in sound. Call me a metaphysician, a doctor of sound. Another edition of the latter tradition, another one of those trying to be spiritual music nuts pushing 100% natural medicine, melodic medicine, non-toxic cues from B-flat to high C. I got a music Jones that won't let go. It's a heavy gift, the Zora Neale Hurston, Jose Montoya word song, a gift to lift us, a heavy intoxicant, a healthy intoxicant that's all stronger than drugs and ever expanding ritual fix that's everywhere all the time. Music is a song that sings me, that flows through me, the song that is me. Music is the funk and the Joe Cooper tune. Duke Ellington's mistress, the bee that bites and Betty Carter's bop, the blood in my veins. Poetic music is the air I breathe, the heart of every dream I dream. Sound so strong I can see it, can you hear it, feel it? I gotta know if you ever even noticed it. Music's calling and calling and calling, and cause always talking, calling you calmly, inviting you essentially as a caress, holding you warmly, hauntingly, just desperately. Desperately, I said desperately like a screen, music is a unifier. The one sure thing that brings this world together, the only universal language. Music is a brazenly unrepentant flirt. Come speaking sweetly, talking, season, and, and, and talking jive, swinging in every idiom that's ever been a language so strong, even the deaf can taste it. Are you listening? It's begging you to hear. It's begging you to heal. Music and the music of the word is medicine. A poetic musician is a traditional healer, and I'm a dealer. A metaphysician who deals in sound. Sound, 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 sound. 
But this is my sound. And that's the only how I'm pushing that. And right now, I said, right now I feel the healing coming on. Anybody out there want some? Yeah. 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 Okay, 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 let's see, then in that case, this is, huh? I said in that case. <laughs> this is a thing, uh, as a musician, I've been playing music since I was four years old, and as a musician, what happens is, you come home work three and four o'clock in the morning, there's always, I don't care what city, what country, there's always some nine, ten, and eleven year old kids who are out in the street. And people who are not wrapped too tight make fun of these kids. But they're out in the street not because of wanting to be out in the street. Something horrible has happened to these kids. And because they're out in the street and hungry, they're dangerous. And so where I was living, I come home with a bunch of instruments uh, and stuff, and I knew I was a walking mark. And so I wrote them a love poem, and basically I just wanted to win them over. And it, it worked, because a month after I wrote it, it was in the, all the street newspapers and the kids from street, uh, uh, street poets, uh, not street poets, uh, youth speaks, and some other kids were doing it all over the place. I got off the board downtown. This cute little chubby Chinese girl ran up to me and threw her arms around me and said, Grandma! And I thought she had lost her mind until she blew my mind and changed my life. She said something that blew me away. She says, thank you, nobody ever talks to us. I'm going to say that again because some of you have forgotten these are your children. Thank you, nobody ever talks to us. It's not going to hurt you to talk to them. Um, she also knew this poem. I wrote it. I had not memorized it. It's in English, Spanish, and Spanglish, Spanglish, and she knew it word for word, every word of it. And she read it to me out of her memory. So I'm going to read it for you. It's called Street Children of the Night, Palo Chiquitito de la Noche en Cualquier Lugar. Black and brown children of the night, que ya no saben nada jugar, mi niñito de la calle. Queridos lolenitos whose ideas having fun got swallowed by the darkness, if I could. I would wrap you in sunshine, I would hold you close, I would hold you in these arms and caress whatever's left of the child in you with lullabies. I would like to cover every inch of you with home-cooked self-esteem and let the deseo bacantes. I want to fill the hole that hurt Doug. Take my hand and I swim de deliberately and defiantly through the fires of hell for you and with you through the movement of disrespect. I'm a hard-headed kind of lady and I just can't see myself giving up on you. Somos lo que somos, you and I, y para nosotros somos lo, todo lo que hay. We are fused together by history, por lo bonito, los sueños robados. Locked lock spiritually in the maze of our destiny, orgie. Mis negritos, mis pequeños callejeros los necesito. The truth is, I know I need you, y yo sin ti soy nada. And if I had a chance, I'd refuse to turn you loose till you were so in love with yourself that self-destruction would disintegrate under the pressure of your presence and you were so secure in my love for you and so sure the splendor you had become that even the sun would lay aside its arrogance just to get a chance to reflect the brilliance of your essence and bask in the bold truth of your integrity in thee. Viva la verdad real yo sin ti no existe ni un sendero de la esperanza o se que me see you my beautiful wild lotus flowers. If I could, I'd bathe you in a sea of rose water. I'd convert your waves of pain into an ocean of pride and faith. Uh, and faith. Y yo te pido dame un chance, please, please, please let me in. I, I promise to do the very best I can, even if I have to wake the dead and conjure up our ancestors' breath. I'm not too proud to act a fool, get down on my knees and holler and scream and beg all the spirits of goodness to intervene, to blow away the fog and dismay and distrust by something cut through the lives of us and dissipate the rage burning behind your eyes. So together we could wash away the centuries of emasculating doubt and defeminizing lies. Then have a little fun and learn to play a brand new game called cool, demolishing of self-hate. Demolishing walls of self-hate. Children of the night, mis niñito de la calle. I want the stubbornness of my love to help me and help you turn on all the lights inside your soul. I will not allow the streets of any city to steal you. You like a lotus blossoming in the night, mis queriditos alma de mi existencia. I will not let the cesspool of Fulinga make a fast food happy meal of your dreams. Chiquito de la esquina, you are our only wealth, you are the most beautiful part of me, and I'm not about to let you go. I will not permit the hungry stupidity of greed to feed you to the street without giving up a fight. I'm a cito pedido de la noche, if I could, I would pave your path with stardust and massage your mind with a steady diet, just how important you are. Make sure you know you're too damn important that the world just throw you away. It's my job to remind you on a daily basis this crazy old lady is here to stay, I'm still here. 
I say I'm still here staying and praying and praying and staying and praying and praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. You let me in me, Señorito, en el gritito de la noche, I'm talking to you. Can you even hear me? It's all tomorrows that you're throwing away. Queridos niñitos de la calle, I'm still waiting a stubborn old lady with a heart full of love standing in the shadows and waiting on who you could be. Oh my God. Waiting for you to finally see me waiting to wrap you in a blanket of sunshine. Um, I got one last one I want to do for you. I want to thank you for being on the here. Um, in this book, and there's a bunch of people who are in this room who are in this book. If you don't have this book, you have to get this book. Civil Liberty oh, United. Yeah, we've, got, we've got a party coming up here pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, you have to get this book. And I'm really honored to be in this book. So one of my poems is in here. I've got three poems. I'm very lucky to have three poems in here. But uh, we're actually, okay. Uh... Uh, I wrote this one um, November the 9th, a couple of years ago, that day. I thought I was just a crazy, paranoid old lady that this creature would never get into this position. He said, I can't say his name. Somebody else said it earlier, so I can't do it. It will disturb the meal. I'm going to be ready to eat in a minute. Um, but I woke up and found out he had won the election. And all my worst nightmares had come true. And I couldn't do anything, so the rest of the day I just sat there and wrote this poem. And I think it's important to remember that we've been here before. And uh, at least if you look like me, you've been here before. It's called I Know We Can. At the end, I want you to help me with this. We have been here before. We sang in the face of the clan and danced with feet all bloody on the decks of slave ships on the longest walk on freedom marches and jail cells and concentration camps, oops, ghettos that we're supposed to call our home. We know this place, concrete jungles, the reservations are cursed of and by the uncivilized who have been, who, I mean, who have forgotten the healing beauty of grass and trees and the gift of clean water to drink and have lost their ability to love. We are familiar with the senseless mayhem of perpetual war, the addictive lust for power, the intoxication of bloodlust, and those who prefer the inhumane sacrifice of their souls as they try to steal ours, yes. We have been here before. We know the hanging tree, the rope, the rape of our bodies, our cultures, the theft of our songs and our children. We have swam through the slime of misogyny. We've been here, we know. Racism, greed, and stupidity have no conscience, and it's only a matter of time before the insatiable self-destruct, before they devour each other. We've been through it all before, and we can get through it all again. We just have to be careful, very, very, very careful. The madness of this narcotic is contagious. We must not get drunk on the stench of this poison. We have too much work to do. We must turn this suicidal drug into fertilizer and let our tears fall down on deserts, glaciers, and jungles and run down the faces of good-hearted people everywhere. I cry and I, I cry and 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 I cry. And my tears come down like a waterfall, an undeading waterfall for all the victims of civilization. We have been here before. And together we can heal. I know we can. Can you say it? I know, I know we can. can. I can't hear it. Come on. I, I know, know we can. can. I, I know, know we can. can. Thank you so much for your ears and support each other and hang on to each other because it's going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better. All right. That's about to give a nice round. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! I'm always going to your way. There you go. You're good. If you're not tired of me, tomorrow night I'll be at Moad at 5 o'clock, so come on out. All right.